Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is a very highly requested video. I've had so many people from the very beginning when I first started my channel a few years ago, um, have so many people ask me about my hair color. Um, what color do I use? What product do I use? How do I do it? All that good stuff. And um, yeah, I was honestly really trying to put off this video for as long as possible. I didn't want to make it because I am a professional hairstylist and the professional hairstylist inside of me hates it when people color their own hair if they haven't gone to hair school. I, I've fixed countless box color mishaps and um, I just, I never condone it. I don't use box color, I'm using professional products in this video just so you know, but um, I don't want you to just try and replicate this style and, you know, this color and just buy some random products from Sally's and try and color your hair at home because I don't want you to ruin your hair. If you don't feel comfortable coloring your own hair, if you're nervous at all, I always recommend to just spend the extra money and have your hairstylist color it for you. If you want this color, take a picture right there <laughs> and have them color your hair this color. So that's all I wanted to say. I don't want to talk too much. I want to share with you guys what I do. I just want to get that off my chest. I feel I feel better now. So if you guys want to see how I color my hair and see the products that I use and the techniques that I use, then please keep watching. All right, guys, I've got my cape on. Let's do this. So I'm going to begin by sectioning my hair into four sections. First by splitting my hair in two sections by following my part all the way down to the nape of my neck and then I'm going to split those sections in half as well by dragging my comb from the top of my head all the way down to the top of my ear. It doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to be pretty, as long as you've got four sections, you're golden. When it comes to color, on my clients I use Kuhn, I use Redkin, and I use Colestin. On myself I use Colestin just because that's the color that I really like on myself. So I am going to be mixing 734 and just a neutral 60. And you know, the, the 6 just kind of tones down the 734 so it's not so vibrant. I want it to be a little bit more natural looking. But if you want to be more of a vibrant look, you can skip the 6 altogether and just go with the 734. I also like to use the Colestin Developer. I'm using the 20 Developer. I just mix equal parts and we've got our concoction. When it comes to coloring the hair, I really like to just kind of outline each section first before I get into the section because that just ensures that we cover absolutely everything. So I'm just kind of outlining the section and going around it. So when it comes to coloring the actual sections, I like to start from the bottom and work my way up. So I'm sectioning about I don't know, about half an inch out and I'm taking the rest of the hair up and I like to paint a little bit of product down there that just kind of keeps the hair out of my way so it's not getting into the current section that we're working on. For each section I apply product directly to my root and then I kind of alternate with each section on how far down I bring the color. So for this particular section I'm bringing it down a few inches and then with each section I do go through and I comb it out and that'll just make sure everything is nice and blended, no harsh lines and everything just looks cohesive. Moving on to the next section, I once again am painting right on the root and I'm going to go ahead and take this color all the way down to my very ends and the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to give myself some dimension. I want some darker pieces, I want some lighter pieces. I don't want it to be all light at the bottom and all dark at the top. It just kind of makes the whole look more blended. So I'm just going to go ahead and comb this down and make sure that color is nice and blended once again. And throughout this whole process I just kind of alternate with sections, some I'll bring down the color halfway. So I'll bring down the color, you know, a couple inches and some sections I'll bring down the color all the way. Um, it just gives it a really kind of interesting look and it makes it look more high-end rather than just painting your roots at home and calling it good. So um, it's kind of up to you wherever you want your light pieces to be. Just kind of factor in how your hair lays and the way that you style it. When it comes to the very top section of my hair, I don't like to color it all the way down. I like to color it just a few inches then comb it down to blend it um, because I prefer the lighter pieces to be on the top. So I just wanted those highlight pieces to be, you know, front and center. So I am not bringing the hair color all the way down to my ends on the very top section on, you know, where I normally part my hair. I usually part my hair on the left hand side. So just kind of factor in where you part your hair and just think about, you know, the statement pieces that you want to make and think about the way that your hair is going to look once it's styled. When it comes to the back two sections, it can get a little tricky. So if you have a friend, 
you know, use them, <laughs> have them color your hair. But, you know, for me personally, I just don't care about the back as much as I do the front. I don't wear my hair up that often, so it's not the end of the world if I miss a spot. Plus, this color is not too far off from my natural color. I'm just a little bit more cool tone, so it won't be the end of the world for me. But if you have a different color hair and you miss a spot, it might be a little bit more noticeable. So I'm just kind of tackling this as I would with the front where I outline the section first. And then I like to start from the top and just kind of work my way down. Whatever pieces I'm done coloring, I just kind of flip forward in front of my face. And that just kind of keeps the hair out of the way without worrying about clips and getting all tangled. And uh, it can be a real mess sometimes. So I think that this is the cleanest way to color the back of your hair. Sometimes using a mirror as well and just kind of like looking in the mirror and seeing the back of your head in another mirror can help too, just to make sure that you've covered everything. Um, but like I said, for me, I don't care that much about my hair. I care more about my client's hair. When it comes to my hair, I am just not that picky. Now that we've completed all of our sections, I like to go back through and just comb everything out with the comb and just make sure everything is nice and blended and make sure everything is saturated. So sometimes when you are doing an at-home job on your hair, you know, doing it yourself, it's like more times than not hard to cover everything and make sure everything is blended together and completely saturated. So what I like to do is I like to let my hair process for the full 30 minutes. Then I'll go ahead and get in the shower and I'll just rinse my hair. I'm not going to rinse out the product. I'm just going to get everything wet. And once everything is wet, like I said, I didn't rinse out the product, I will just kind of emulsify the color in my hair. I'll kind of make sure that it gets down to my ends and just kind of scrub everything together and just let it sit for maybe like, I don't know, five to ten minutes. And that'll just make sure that everything just kind of melds gracefully. It, it will still be a little bit lighter at my ends because I'm not letting it process for, for the full 30 minutes like I am up here. I'll still have some dimension, but it'll just blend a little bit better and be a little closer to my root color. So that just kind of ensures that everything matches. So this is the finished product. As you can see, um, it is pretty gradient from dark to light. Um, I wouldn't necessarily call this an ombre. I'll just call it like sun-kissed hair perhaps because so I do have some darker shades down here too. I'm not a huge fan of the ombre look anymore. I'm just kind of over it. Um, but what I like about this is it's very easy to maintain and I do have some lighter pieces going in throughout. But pretty soon here I do think that it will be time to add some highlights to kind of bring the brightness up a little bit more. Maybe add some lights to kind of darken this and just meld the two colors a little bit better. So um, I'll probably make a video on how I foil my own hair and add my own highlights. Anyways. I hope this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions at all, if you are trying this at home, let me know in the comments below and I can always help out if you have a question about the current hair color that you have, how to achieve this hair color. Otherwise, just bring it into your stylist and have her do her magic and you'll be good to go. But anyways, I hope this video helped you guys out. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then please subscribe to it and I will talk to you guys next time.